performance measurement of machine learning models. So there are various uh, ways to measure the performance of machine learning models. One simple way to measure the performance of the machine learning model is accuracy. So we'll discuss accuracy here. So accuracy is equal to number of number of correct predictions divided by divided by total number of data points total number of data points in test data set test data set because we use test data set to measure the performance or to test the performance of the model so let us say let us say we have we have 100 data points in our test data set and out of uh, 100 data points let's say 60 are positive 60 data points belong to positive class and 50 sorry 40 belongs to negative class so uh, we have only two classes so 60 belongs to positive class and 40 belongs to negative class so out of 60 when i uh, run my model on this uh, uh, data set out of 60 let's say 55 are correctly predicted predicted by the model correctly predicted by our machine learning model and out of 40 negative classes let's say 35 are correctly predicted by our model so in total there are 90 correct predictions uh, 55 positive correct predictions so out of 60 55 positive correct uh, correct predictions and let's say five were wrong predictions so in total we have 90 correct predictions so therefore the accuracy of the model therefore the accuracy of the model is equal to 90 of the total correct prediction divided by 100 100 are total data points which is equal to 90 percent so that is how we compute the accuracy of the model so accuracy is a very simple measure but it has certain drawbacks so let's see the drawbacks of uh, this model uh, th this measure accuracy drawbacks of accuracy So let us say we have this data set in which we have out of 100% data points let's say 90% are belonging to positive class and 10% are belonging to negative class let's say 10% are belonging to negative class and let's say we built a very simple model machine learning model which simply returns our machine learning model simply returns positive for any data for any data point you give it to the machine learning model it will return positive it that data point will be classified as positive by our machine learning model any data point you give it give it to our model it will simply classify it to be positive now if we run this model on our data set this is our test data set right yeah, which is imbalanced right which you can see is imbalanced data set imbalanced data set right but if you run this machine learning model on this data set it will return us an accuracy of 90 percent right because for 90 percent of the uh, data points it will classify uh, it to be positive right so out of you know you know out of this hundred out of this hundred percent data points it will classify 90% correctly because 90% uh, are positive points here so if, if you throw those 100% uh, data points on this model it will return you positive in 90% positive 90% of the time and even even that even that for 10% also it will return positive but that will be misclassification but still will get an accuracy of 90% right so that is the drawback of this accuracy measure when the data when the data set is imbalanced imbalanced data set so accuracy does not work with imbalanced data set 
that is one drawback there is one more drawback let us say we have uh, this data set like we have here x uh, and uh, y right so let's say x data points are x1 x2 x3 and x4 now let's say uh, why uh, our model is returning the probability score um, or the classes of this point are let's say x1 class is let's say 1 x2 class is 1 x3 class is let's say uh, 1 and x4 class is 0 let's take one more data point x5 whose class is 0 right now we uh, we have a model which returns the probability score now when i give this data points as input to the model it will return the probability score right uh, as a classic as classification right let's say the score written by the model is for x1 it returns 0.95 let's say for x2 it returns 0.85 and for x3 it returns uh, let's say 0.75 and for x4 it returns let's say 0 0.20 and x5 it returns 0 0.10 right so we have this model which returns the probability score we have let's say we have model 1 model model 1 which returns this probability score and let's say we have one more model machine learning model 2 which will return uh, this score let's say this is let's say point uh, 8 this is point uh, 7 let's say this is point 5 5 this is point uh, 4 7 and this is point 4 5 let's say right okay now uh, if you uh, if you see these are the scores written by these two models now if we approximate these scores in order to compute the accuracy let's say so the class of uh, model uh, classes written by model 1 will be y1 uh, y1 hat let's say will be this 0.95 is close to 1 so this will be approximated to 1 similarly this will be approximated to 1 this will also be approximated to 1 this will also be approximated this will be approximated to 0 and this will be approximated to 0 because it's less than 5 0.5 less than 0.5 right so now similarly we have uh, uh, y2 hat that is the classification done by model 2 we will convert these uh, scores into uh, the classes so uh, point uh, this is 0.8 which is greater than 0.5 so it will belong to class 1 so 0.7 is again uh, closer to 1 so it will be 1 so 0.55 is 1 and again this 0.47 is less than 0.5 so it will be 0 so it will be uh, 0 now if we compute the accuracy of uh, uh, this model 1 and model 2 the accuracy are nearly same because uh, for uh, see the classes classes uh, we got by model 1 and model 2 are same we got the same output that means the accuracy of model 1 and model 2 is same so how will we compare uh, these two models right which one is best now you can see if we from the score we can come to know that model 1 is doing fairly good right compared to model 2 because model 2 scores are less uh, or not very accurate compared to model 1 so that's why by looking at the score we can come to know that uh, model 1 is uh, better than model 2 but by looking at the classes we cannot or by looking at the accuracy score which we can get by this by using this classes right we can get the accuracy score by using this classes so accuracy score is same for model 1 and model 2 so we cannot determined by looking at the accuracy score which model one which model is better so that is one more drawback of uh, uh, this uh, accuracy so accuracy uh, 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 does not work well or it is not useful when the data set is imbalanced and when the scores uh, are probability uh, scores like probability scores so we'll uh, see another measure or other measures in the uh, other video so thanks for watching